After several years of conceptualizing, Quentin van der Berg has collaborated with celebrity photographer John Russo to release 100 Making a Difference. The coffee table book celebrates philanthropic individuals and organizations on a global scale with uh, will, which will aid charity. The book features a collection of incredible photographs of passionate human beings who are dedicated to improving the lives of others through their tireless charitable work and the organizations they support. For more, we're joined on Zoom by entrepreneur Quinton van der Berg. Quinton, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Tell us about the coffee table photograph collection. What inspired it? Um, so we've obviously been doing foundation work for many years now. Um, it's founded off of generosity in the United States, doing a lot of missionary work throughout Africa, Haiti, India, and Africa. Um, you know, obviously we've been building water wells. Uh, we've built a few thousand water wells around the world already and brought that initiative back to South Africa about four years ago where we started building water wells in schools in South Africa. Uh, obviously, water sanitation has been a massive issue, um, and obviously for that, we've been focused heavily on that sector, uh, alleviating the water crisis. And through that, we've, we've been able to alleviate about 400,000 uh, people to get clean water in South Africa. Um, we have got a big drive this next following year. Obviously, COVID put us in a bit of a stop, um, uh, sad times. Uh, through that, we created a few other uh, wings to the foundation, and uh, we obviously do... Um, pay my bills and we help a lot of uh, orphanages, old age homes and specific people get uh, educational programs. So yes, um, obviously several years ago I met John Rousseau in the United States, um, networking with the same people, celebrities we work with and he had obviously come up with the formula of this book that had uh, obviously the idea of showcasing some of the greatest people in the world, philanthropic people that uh, wanted to make change and, and make massive impact around the world. And obviously these people are um, A-list celebrities. Uh, he only shoots A-list celebrities around the world. So mm -hmm. through those relationships, he decided to um, get into this and asked me if I would basically back it and get involved as um, covering the forward and, and writing a little bit about what it means to give back and what it means to me to give back. So it was a very close uh, project to my heart. I really was, I believe strongly in it from the beginning. It took a very long time to get to this point. Obviously getting these A-listers around the table and getting them to, um, you know, just sit down and focus and, and, and do the work that we needed them to do. And yeah, so several years later, we, we got everybody into the book and there's some amazing people and some amazing foundations uh, pretty much from every different walk of life um, and every different cause you can imagine is in this book. And uh, it's conceptualized through, through passion from, you know, everybody that just wants to bring awareness and change to um, the COVID pandemic that we're all experiencing at the moment. So it couldn't be in a better time that we actually got to launch this book. Mm. Speak to us about the common theme in this book and what, we, what are you trying to achieve with this project? So more so the, the book is 100% contribution towards foundation work. Mm -hmm. So... All of the money that goes from purchasing the book goes to these 134 foundations, which is an amazing story, to say the least. Um, you know, so nothing goes out to cost or otherwise. So when you do buy a book, um, maybe because somebody you enjoy or like in the book, like Cristiano Ronaldo is in there, Oprah's in there, um, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson's in there, Alton John, there's some, like, the names go on. You can imagine anybody that you can know from Hollywood is in this book. Mm. And it's a coffee table book, so it's something nice to keep on your table, something nice to kind of have and collect. And, um, yeah, so for that, we just want to bring awareness to these foundations. Uh, through this, we've obviously raised quite a bit of money through uh, a, a new crypto bank that we launched around the world. Um, we've launched the 12, well, we actually gave $12 million towards these foundations already. And we aim to do a lot more, which is exciting for us as well. And, uh, yeah, so basically just fundraising for these foundations and more so just being inspired to go out there and do something for yourself. I mean, speak to us about your passion for giving back. Where does it all stem from? Uh, it stems from when I was young, obviously being uh, in the churches and giving. Uh, my mother taught me to um, do that from a young age. And for me, uh, giving is pretty much what makes me get up in the morning and inspiring people is everything to me of today. You know, business 
is one thing, making money is another thing. But, um, you know, to be able to make impact and change people's lives, I think is my biggest drive and passion at the moment. I think it's 50% of my time goes towards thinking on how it can change people's lives. And getting involved in this book and being able to get involved with some amazing people, of course, um, is really driving me to make more of a global impact and not just South Africa and Africa. Obviously, I always want to bring the cause back to my home um, and make sure that people in, in South Africa are getting that um, attention to, to, to make impact and change in their communities, which I believe it's lacking greatly. And I think that if big business all climbs in and starts doing things like you know, developing schools and uh, building water wells and sanitation and things like that, I think we can make some change. Um, so it starts with every individual uh, listening to this and seeing what their companies and what they can do for the, their communities around them. And speak to us about this title, 100 Making a Difference. How, what inspired that title? Well, unfortunately, uh, we didn't want to go with 134 Make a Difference. We just wanted to round it off to 100 yeah. Making a Difference. Um, it was just a good title for us, you know, and obviously from an impact point of view, these people all are making a difference in their own uh, parts of the world. Um, obviously, this is a very broad and, and, and global uh, book, you know, people from very, very different walks of life and different parts of the world, I would say. And for that uh, is obviously why we came up with 100 Making a Difference. And speak to us about these celebrities. What was the process of selecting who to approach and who to not to approach for the book? So it wasn't more so about who we wanted to approach. I yeah. think it was a natural sort of organic. Um, so that's why it took several years to develop. Mm. Um, it wasn't something that we went and approached people. I think a lot of them uh, gravitated towards us. Uh, it's more so, I'd say John is a world-renowned world photographer and he shoots these people and yeah. obviously he shot a lot of the people in this book um, naturally just for photo shoots or for specific films or things that they were doing. And through that, he spoke to them about the book and what we we're planning on doing and they were immediately sold on it because remember a lot of these celebrities, they don't get recognized for doing you know, philanthropic work. They get yeah. recognized for being celebrities. And um, they, they really have big hearts and, and they have passion towards giving their own time, which is really important to them. They don't have the time, but yet they do give that time to, to actually go and make a change or impact with specific causes. Um, you know, like uh, Christian Ronaldo, UNICEF, you know, it's, it's because of how he was brought up. He wanted to bring attention and general health and uh, awareness back to children. So, you know, he was, he was more about that. And Dwayne Johnson, obviously making a WISH Foundation, is such a phenomenal cause, you know, getting involved with his own time, going to children's hospitals and, uh, you know, children are suffering from severe diseases. Uh, you know, he wants to make a change and see what he can do to, to make their last wishes uh, on this earth, um, you know, a blessing to their families and to the, the children themselves. Mm -hmm. So I can go on and on about yeah. how amazing these causes are and what these people have done for people around the world. All and right. for me, it's a celebratory aspect to make sure that people see the great work that these people have done. Yeah. Quinton, thank you so much for what you do uh, for this country. Thank you so much for the book as well. He's an entrepreneur speaking to us about uh, the book. Uh, the re It's a coffee table book, in fact. It's titled 100 Making a Difference, which will benefit 143 charities on a global scale.